Hello to our dear, dear friends. This is Tamara and Micah Weeks on Tam's Daily Vlog, and we have just returned home over the weekend. We got in Saturday night. It is Monday morning. We got in from Indianapolis, Indiana, Micah's brother. He's baby number three and the oldest of four brothers. He graduated from Indiana Bible College on a Friday night, so we drove out there from Nebraska. And I just asked Micah, are you tired? No. No, she's not tired. This was a really long, long trip. So we drove about 10 hours on Wednesday. Thursday night was a banquet, really long banquet. Friday, we, um, Mimi and Papa were there. So Friday, Mimi and Papa took us to Cracker Barrel again. Was that fun to go to Cracker Barrel? Yes. Yeah. Yeah. We went to Texas Roadhouse, but I guess they don't open until later in the afternoon, so we were too early. So Cracker Barrel was across the street, and we ate there, and then we had graduation Friday night. And then Saturday was 11 hours and 15 minutes to get home. It was like the never-ending day. There was road construction, and William missed a turn to get on a highway, but it's a good thing he noticed when he did. So we didn't turn around and go back. We just took a little bit longer route to get home. So it wasn't that big a deal. It was just a really never-ending day. Then yesterday was Mother's Day, which was never-ending. Um, I've switched. I've gotten off of the music team at church, and I'm now on the hospitality team. So now I'm starting to greet. So they had me down for greeting on Sunday morning, Sunday night. So Sunday morning I greeted, and then Urshan Bible College Chorale, which was, I think, 42 people. I thought that was a choir, but I guess I guess it's a, a a, um, it's a chorale, not a choir. I asked Kendall yesterday, I said, so what constitutes the size of a choir? And I think he said 150 people. So anything under 150 makes a chorale. That's really big. He said IVC has a chorale that has 65 people in it. I always thought those were choirs. But anyway, they came. And so we were just on, on our feet just the whole time. So all of Mother's Day morning service was on our feet, worshiping and singing, and then they had altar call like in the middle of this, and so then we were on our feet in the altar call praying, and uh, several people got baptized yesterday morning on Mother's Day, and that was really cool. So then we came home, and Reagan didn't come. He had to go change the oil in the truck and said it was the only time he could do it, and it takes all day, and blah, blah, blah. So he didn't come home, but Lauren came over to eat with us, and Lauren made these, um, made 10 chocolate-covered strawberries. They're really, really pretty. I'll have, to, I'll have to show you in a video how pretty they are, and they taste really good. And let's see. So we just had, you know, William just made some rice and beans and ham, you know, not, not anything too big, just, just a lunch for us to have. Then when I got home... I got a, I'll, I'll show you the little clip. I took a really short clip of getting some presents. They were sitting outside the front door. Christian's friend, Michaela, brought me some beautiful pink roses and a really pretty box with my favorite candy in it and brought me, uh, let's see. Oh, and there was a card with a really sweet note in it. It just was the sweetest thing ever. It was sitting outside when we got home from church yesterday. I talked to Christian yesterday. Christian's down in Texas at tech school, and I got to talk to him for a long time yesterday. Then I called one of my mother's old friends, Carol, down in Texas. I called her yesterday for Mother's Day. Um, we've been friends for years and years, and when I was down there a couple of years ago, um, after my mother passed away, I saw Carol almost every day while I was down there. And we used to live, we used to all live in Houston together, and I still keep in touch with her son, Michael, and she had a daughter that was killed in a car accident many years ago. I think I was 16 or 18 back when that happened. I was in high school, and I still miss her. I still remember the very last time that I saw Cindy. So anyway, so I talked to her, and then I talked to my stepmother, I call, I just talked to her for a long time Saturday night after we came home, and then I called her yesterday just for a quick minute. I wanted to make sure that I talked to her on Mother's Day, and I had like 50 reminders of Mother's Day, so I made sure I got the Mother's Day card in the mail to my mom, 
Dad's birthday is on Saturday, May the 7th, the day before Mother's Day. I didn't have 50 reminders about Dad, so I did not send Dad a, 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 a birthday card, and I felt so bad that I did that. I'm such a terrible daughter to do something like that. Um, I don't send cards every year anyway. I, I try to. So Father's Day is coming up, so I'll, I'll try to redeem myself and get the Father's Day card out. Let's see. So I have lots of video from the banquet. The banquet was long. It was beautiful. It was wonderful. The graduation was Friday night. It was long. It was beautiful. It was wonderful. What I loved about this is that we had two days that we celebrated graduating. It was just the neatest thing. And because it's a Bible college, you know, all of us, it's part of the United Pentecostal Church. So we're all like part of the same body and you see people that you already know or you meet people that know somebody else that you know. You know, it's like a big, big family, a big body of believers. So it's very special to be with this group. And so we were with this group for two days. And there was a lot of prayer that went on and we were worshiping and singing at the end of the banquet, which was really cool. I don't think I've ever done, I don't think I've heard of a two-day celebration for a Bible college graduation or any kind of graduation. We, Me and William graduated from Bible college, Texas Bible college, in 1987. But I don't remember us, I don't remember if we did something like that. I, I just remember having a graduation ceremony and I don't even remember I don't even remember anything about that so anyway we just had a really good time I had a really good time it was really long I am really really tired today oh and while I was gone on Friday my mother's house down in Texas we've been renting it I tried to sell it after my mother passed away so we put it up on the market around February of 2015 it didn't sell, so we rented it for a year, and it suddenly went back up on the market. We weren't planning on it going back on the market this soon, but it went on the market on Friday while we were gone, so I have to go fill some paperwork out real fast when I get done with my video. So I'll have some more news on that. I'm not sure exactly what, what is going to happen with that. The house is in need of getting some work done that I wasn't planning on doing. And it looks like they had a dog, and it is very strong dog urine when you walk in. A maid's already been there but didn't get the smell out, so we have to figure out how we're going to get that out. I'm in Nebraska. The house is in Texas. So I'm trying to see if I can get down there, but then I've only got a short window because Kendall comes back for Sunday night, the 22nd. Every year our church celebrates all graduations, tech school, college, high school, any kind of graduation. So Kendall's going to come back into town for that graduation, so I need to be here for that. And then Christian comes home right after. He comes home on the 25th. So I have like a really short window. And right after that, I'm going to Ohio for a couple of days. And I'm really excited about that trip, but I can't tell you about that trip until I come back. So it's kind of a secret, but I can tell you that I'm going. And um, But it's really cool. And let's see. Um... So I kind of wanted to catch you up on everything. I didn't really do anything vloggy while we were while we were gone. I just videoed the banquet, videoed the graduation, took a few pictures. I'm thinking I'm going to do two videos. I have so much footage from both events. So one for banquet, one for graduation. Then I'll do one that kind of um, kind of puts them all together, puts both events all together. I didn't do I didn't do any video in the van going or coming or anything in the hotel. I don't know. I was just really tired and I didn't feel like doing it. But I got tons of really good video from, except that the uh, video at the graduation. There are these two boys, these two young boys sitting in front of me. So they kind of frame the video because you get both of their heads. So everything that they did is in the video. So it's kind of funny. So I'm hoping I can edit it well enough that it's not um, not too distracting. If you can just, you know, forget that there's two heads there and just <laughs> look at whatever it is I'm videoing. Oh, one more thing I was going to tell you. Okay, so Kendall went to Bible college with Brad. Brad and his family are good friends with our family. Brad has a brother, Brent, and they all grew up together. So Kendall and Brad went to, they graduated the same year. They went to college the same year and they graduated together. So they roomed together their whole four years. 
Brad graduated valedictorian. That means he had the highest GPA of the entire senior class. There were 30, <clears throat> 31 graduates. Kendall graduated salutatorian. That means he had the next highest GPA, grade point average of the senior class. He tied with a girl, so I got all three of their speeches. That's kind of long, so I'll, I'll kind of see how, how that goes, but it's really cool. And then Brad won the President's, uh, I think it's called President's Award. Brad was the student body president during their senior year. Kendall won some kind of award, and I, I don't remember what kind of award he won, but he won another award. So these two boys went together, and they were just top dogs for the whole four years that they were there, which is really cool. Because Kendall was class president one year. He spent his junior and senior year being the secretary to the dean of academics and the dean of something else. The, the dean carries two hats. I forget what it is. Maybe it's biblical studies. I don't remember, but I do remember the academic part. And that's a really big position. So he had to turn down being class pre or being student body president. I think his junior, his either his junior or senior year, so that he could be president. I think it was ju so he could be the secretary. That would have been his junior year. They only give that secretary position to a junior. It's always a two year position. So he turned down student body, the nomination for student body president his junior year to take the secretary role. And let's see, I forgot what all roles and, and Brad's Brad's been um, Brad's been the secretary of the president of the, the class president a few years. He's been class president, student body president. Anyway, both these guys have just been really top dogs. I don't have all that exactly right, but they have carried all those roles. So just really good boys. We're just super proud of both of them, and I had a really good time. So I'll have some more videos out later on this week. Do you want to tell, tell your friends anything? Did you have a good time? Did you love seeing Kendall? Can you say Kendall? Kendall. 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 Kind of saying Kendall. Did you talk to Kendall yesterday on the yeah. phone? She knew I was talking to Kendall yesterday on the phone, and she wanted to say hi to him. So we drove into church yesterday, and I was driving. William's not breathing too good, so he didn't go to church last night. Lauren knew, I, Mike knew I was talking to Kendall, so she wanted to talk to him. So when I stopped the, the van, I put the phone on speaker and let her say hi to him. He's a pretty good boy, isn't he? Yeah. Oh, I, one last thing. I forgot to tell you what he's going to do. Okay, so he graduated from college, and now he's gone to Illinois, Ofala, Illinois, is where he's going to, he's already moved there. He moved there on Saturday. And he is going to be a youth pastor there. So we are very excited about him doing that. So he's coming home just long enough for the graduation on the 22nd here at home. And then he'll be going back to Illinois. So that's what Kendall is doing. That is all about our weekend. And we're home. We're pretty unpacked. Most things are unpacked. As soon as we got home, we got everything out of the van, and then I started unloading quite a bit of stuff Saturday night when we got home. And then there's just a little bit left to do. And now we just have to rest up because I am really tired. But you're not tired? Oh. You're not tired at all? Oh. And Micah did really well. Somebody asked me something about um, taking Micah to the bathroom. We took Micah to the bathroom every two to three hours the whole time. I took her to the bathroom every two to three hours while we were gone. She stayed dry almost the entire trip, did really well. So she does wear briefs, but she goes to the bathroom. We just take you every little while, huh? You want to go see Bridget, don't you? She's looking out the window. She wants to go see Bridget. All right, it's time for Bridget. So let's say bye. Bye-bye. Mm -hmm. I will look to the hills from whence cometh my help, for my help cometh from oh. the Lord. There you go. She hasn't been very loud on that for a while. She's just kind of squeaking out something, squeaking out a noise. So we will talk to you tomorrow, and you have yourself a wonderful, beautiful day. Bye-bye. Bye-bye.